Questions with Preston. We are back once again, and today we are talking about calling in the one. Wow, what a topic, right? Because all of us are meant to be in partnership, in relation with somebody. Whether that's a love relationship, a romantic relationship, or one for business, whatever you call it. But today is about the one. Right? So first and foremost, the number one thing we all must understand is that the greatest relationship we will ever have is the relationship with ourselves. You cannot call in another unless you have a, a relationship with you. So my number one advice before we even start is about falling in love with you, snuggling you, dating you, giving yourself that type of care that you would like to receive from another. because. So many relationships right now are codependent relationships. They are two halves coming together, thinking that they're going to create a whole. But that's the exact opposite of what happens. When two halves come together, you just create codependency. You create um, friction because people tend to put their hopes and dreams and aspirations on another. So number one, fall in love with you. Go in, put yourself in a position where, where you actually care about who you are, where you beam love from the inside out, where you are, are never bored because you love you. So once you have fallen in love with you, once you have taken yourself on those dates and become uh, your number one fan, then you do these next five steps. So step number one is stay positive. Keep your eye on the prize always know that they're out there because here's the deal it's always about alignment I have seen people fall in love at 18 and 80 my um, step grandfather was on an airplane he's 80 years old was on an airplane flying to Florida and the woman next to him is now his wife that is about alignment you see so many of us want to make these lists and things like that about like, oh, I want this and I want that, which brings me to step number two, actually, which is be what you want. So whatever you're calling in, you must be that. If you want somebody honest, somebody who will say the ugly stuff and the times when it's super scary, then you must be that. If you want somebody confident and funny, you must be that. You must embody what you are calling in because you cannot have what you are not willing to give. You cannot share what you don't have. If I don't have anything in my hands, I can't give it to you. So you got to be the thing you're calling in. Step number three is be discerning with who you share your energy with. You see, sex is a powerful thing. Sex is a beautiful thing. Sex can create another. It is one of the best gifts we have ever been given. But if you are sharing your energy, if you are sharing your body with a bunch of people who don't carry the same frequency, then you become them. And I've seen it time and time again, and I have been that myself, where somebody has said, oh, well, I want this powerful, beautiful man, or this, this, this sexy, attractive woman who's confident and smart and all of these things, but they are sharing themselves with somebody who is not that. And energetically, you can only attract who and what you are. So if you are sharing your body, be discerning about who you do that with. Step number four is be present. You know, I was talking to a friend recently, and he said, well, you know, I'm dating this girl, but she's not the one, so I don't want to really show her my heart. And I explained to him that that's the exact opposite of what you need to do. You need to be present with who you're with, because the two and the three can be just as important as the one. Meaning, yes, you are calling in your one, but the people you date before them are where you get your practice in, and you don't get to just turn a switch. You don't get to be completely shut down 90% of your life and then meet the one and then automatically become intimate. That is not how it works. Whoever you're with, be present with them. Give them your heart, share with them. Know that nobody can make or break you. Know that you are in this life to get it in and get it out, to feel stuff. Allow yourself to be in the dance to be all the way in the dance, not halfway in, not, not viewing it from, from like, should I or should not, but like, if you're going to share your body, if you're gonna share experiences, if you're going to go to the movies with somebody, be in the movies, be present. And step number five is trust your intuition. There is this still small voice, this guidance system that happens in our gut. Right? They call it women's intuition and man's intuition. It's just intuition. Quick story. 
about a year ago. I was celibate for six months and then I started dating again and I, I met this girl and, and we were supposed to go on a date but something said, nah, this isn't, this isn't your girl, this isn't your one. And I was so clear that it wasn't my one that I was like, I'm gonna cancel it. But then intuition kicked in. Intuition said, you need to go on this date. So I go on the date. We get there, we're late. They say, oh, we oversold the show by 10 seats. You are gonna have to stand on the wall. I go, okay, that's cool. And he goes, actually, no, you two. And he pulls us out. He says, I'm gonna add two seats to the front row. Well, he sits us down on the front row. I sit down, my date sits here. I look at the stage, I look at her, and next to her is my one, is Alexi Panos. My intuition was correct. I was in alignment with who I was and the universe was setting it up. There is magic out there, y'all. There is a system that is moving before you because it knows your heart. Know that you're always in the right place. And your one may find you in a grocery store. They may find you on a hike. You guys are both right now just doing this, right? Along your path. And then eventually, as you come into alignment and they come into alignment, bang, you meet. And you want to meet from wholeness. You want to meet from power. You want to meet as you, as truly you. Because when two holes come together, O-M, jizzle, it goes down. Everything, and let me tell you this, woo, woo, let me tell you this. Okay, so I had the story running that if I date someone, it may take away from my job or my focus or my blah, 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 but it has done the exact opposite. Calling in the one has, has created a situation where everything I do is filled with, with, with an extra thing that is almost intangible and tangible at the same time. That love that I feel for, for, for my beautiful one. Actually, come here, come here. She's right here. I'm holding the reflector. She's holding the reflector. Here, let's. <laughs> this is who I'm talking about. What, what you got to say about love and calling in the one? Okay, so calling in the one, I mean, you really said everything that I believe as well. I think it's about, it really is about being what you say you want. I think for so long I had this list of, you know, traits and attributes that the one had to have, but I wasn't willing to step into that. Like vulnerability was a huge one for me, mm -hmm. right? And intimacy, like real true intimacy. But I wasn't willing to even be honest and vulnerable with myself. So how could I possibly call in my one until I had that? Mm -hmm. Reflector's working now. Yeah. See that light? You see yeah. that? Yeah, <laughs> you see that light all up on my boot? You see that light all up on my boot? <laughs> Guys, seriously, <laughs> this is magic. It like, oh my God. It feels so good. This is magic. Yes. Because she's committed to her. We're both staring at the same mountain, but she's committed to her. So with or without me, she's headed to that mountain. With or without her, I'm headed to that mountain. And when two holes come together and they partner up and they walk towards the same mountain, it is, it feels unstoppable. It is pure magic. So if you're calling them the one, fill your cup. Fill your cup and share from the overflow. Get yourself in alignment and allow the universe to do the rest. It is on and popping. This is Questions with Preston. This is Alexi Damn Panos. It is going down in a beautiful major way. Guys, we love you. Click subscribe. Do it. Leave a comment. <laughs> do that too. Do all those steps I just told you. Steps one through five. One through fizzle. Don't, don't forget the first one though. Exactly. Before number one, step A. And then go to Alexi's channel and hit subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Watch some of her videos. You should watch it. Why are we doing like this and I talking like this? <laughs> I can't deal. We love you guys. All right. Love look. you. Hit subscribe. Bye. The real us, the capital S, that self is ageless, deathless, changeless being made in the image and likeness of God. That is spirit. It can never divide itself. It is omnipresent. It is everywhere at all times. That is you. That is me. Divine snowflakes that will never be repeated. Ever, ever, ever. What I came to do and be will never happen again.